What's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install an exhaust fan in a small basement bathroom. And this is gonna include everything from drilling the penetration through your home to actually mounting the exhaust fan in the ceiling. And then we'll cover some final touches like installing the drop ceiling panel around it, etc. So if you need to install an exhaust fan in your basement bathroom, stay tuned. The first step in this exhaust fan project is to drill a hole through the foundation so we can take the exhaust duct from the inside of the house and route it to the exterior. Because we're in the basement, we're limited with the headroom, and just like the exhaust duct for the dryer and also the gas line supply coming in, we're limited, so we had to go through the foundation, and we're just gonna match that for this exhaust fan. If you have the option to go higher up through the band joist or through your home siding instead of the foundation, probably a better idea. Because we're going to be installing a four inch exhaust fan duct, I picked up this 4.25 inch drill bit on Amazon. I'll link it down in the video description so you can see exactly what I got. But I also needed a threaded adapter that would then connect to my SDS connection on my rigid hammer drill. I'll link all this in the description. This is what I used. And obviously before we can drill through the foundation, we gotta hook up our adapter, connect it to our hammer drill, and we want the hammer drill on hammer function when drilling through masonry like cinder blocks. When deciding on where to actually drill through the cinder block foundation, you wanna take a look at other penetrations to see where the cavities are in the cinder block. Basically a cinder block has a structural center and there's two void spaces on either side. You wanna drill through a void space, not the structural element. So. Pay attention to that. So I use the existing dryer vent exhaust penetration as a guide to determine where the hollow point in the cinder block was gonna be. And then I use that hose bib as a reference to mark the center of the hole that I'm gonna drill for my new exhaust fan penetration. I took that mark on the inside and moved it to the outside since I figured drilling on the outside was gonna be easier. But here I ran into my first problem. So to save a couple bucks, I bought this core drill bit that did not come with a pilot bit that goes down the center. And a pilot bit is gonna make it very easy to keep your drill bit steady but since we didn't have one we had to create this jig just to set the initial drill location to keep the bit from wandering all over the place once we had the initial circle outline in place it was easy to go back in and do the rest of the drill if you have a good hammer drill drilling through this cinder block is going to be no problem at all as long as you're on hammer function and you hold the drill nice and level it should go through pretty easy as you can see here we made it through the first wall of the cinder block and there's the empty cavity and here we are drilling through the other side Nice. So now that we have a 4.25 inch hole in our foundation, let's take a look at this exhaust fan. Okay, so we're installing this uh, this kit right here. It comes with the vent, comes with the duct, and then it has some flexible duct here. So first things first, I assembled the four inch HVAC duct, and then I inserted that into the plastic hood, which is gonna attach to the exterior of our home. Then you're gonna take some HVAC tape just to seal up all the connections, make sure that no air is gonna escape, and once you've taped everything up, it's time to thread it through the house. Okay, so here's what we got on the inside. You can see we got a nice view to the exterior. And now we're gonna go ahead and install this. Okay, so at this point we have our assembled piece right here. We taped it all together. Now we're just gonna go ahead and insert it all the way through until it's nice and flush. After positioning the hood vent in place and making sure it was level, I marked the four locations for the screws. And after marking all of those with a Sharpie, I removed the hood vent so I could pre-drill using a hammer drill again. Since we're going to be drilling into cinder block, I'm using a carbide tip masonry bit with my smaller hammer drill. And the diameter of that carbide tip bit is gonna depend on the size of Tapcon masonry screws you're using to secure your exhaust fan hood to the house. I'll link the ones that I use down in the video description. Now it's just a matter of screwing all four of those Tapcon screws through the exhaust fan hood and into the cinder block. After securing the hood, I took some clear silicone and I went around the perimeter of the vent hood just to make it completely weather tight. After weatherproofing the exterior of that hood, I went on the inside and applied some expanding spray foam insulation just to seal up that penetration. For this exhaust fan, I'm using four inch flexible duct and there's no debate that rigid duct is a better bet, but the kit I purchased came with flexible, so that's what we're using. I'm gonna be installing this Hampton Bay exhaust fan and it comes with this air flap that will stay closed when the fan is not in use and then will open up when the fan kicks on. This will help to prevent cold air from the exterior from making its way into the house. Then on the other side of the fan, we have our electrical connections and then on the bottom side, obviously, we have the actual fan. At this point, it's time to actually mount the exhaust fan and we're gonna be installing it directly onto that floor joist above. So what I'm doing is I'm holding it in place and because I'm using a drop ceiling, it's gonna extend a little bit further down than the joist, but if you were gonna be drywalling the ceiling, you would want it perfectly flush with the joist so that it doesn't interfere with that drywall. 
For this particular exhaust fan, there are two set screws that I'm installing, and then you're basically gonna hang the exhaust fan on those two screws by the brackets that are attached to the exhaust fan. Now, I ran the electrical cable over to the exhaust fan as part of my LED bathroom mirror video, which I'll link down below. And after confirming that the breaker was off using my voltage tester, it's time to hook everything up. All right, so it's pretty hard to show this, but as you can see, it's a push connection right there, push connection, so we have our neutral, we have our ground, and then I have not done the hot yet. So basically, I'll see if I can try to show this and slide it right on top there and then push it in, wow, with one hand. Can't believe that worked. Now we have all three connected. After hooking up all the electrical connections, I tucked the wires back into the junction box and then I took the discharge on the four inch flexible duct and I attached that to the discharge, which is gonna connect to the exhaust fan that has that air flap valve that I showed you previously. After securing the connection with aluminum foil tape, it's time to actually make the connection to the exhaust fan. There are plastic clips that clip it into place pretty easily, but I installed a piece of aluminum foil tape on one side since there seemed to be a little bit of airflow escaping. And after hooking that up, I gave the exhaust fan a test to make sure it was working. Now let's follow this to the other side. Okay, so obviously I got to work out all this slack and kinks, but here we are following it around to the other end and we can see that it's working because we have this nasty dryer sheet. We'll bring that close to it and you'll see that'll blow right across. So the last thing we have to do is trim this to size and hook it up to our exhaust. So here I am just gonna pull out this slack here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna trim this to length. So as you can see, we gotta go there. I'm gonna give this a little extra play, but I'll go ahead and cut it right here. And after using a utility knife and then tin snips to cut through the actual rigid wire that holds the duct together, I slipped it over the rigid piece of ducting that went through the house. And then I used aluminum foil tape to make sure that connection wasn't going anywhere. And if we have any HVAC guys watching this video, I'd be curious to hear down in the comments if there's any regulations on flexible duct versus rigid, how often you have to secure it to the joist, if you can have bends like this. I'm not entirely sure, so please let me know down in the comments. At this point, the installation is almost complete. We just have to measure out the penetration that we're gonna need to cut in our drop ceiling so it can go around the exhaust fan. So I made the measurements and I created this little template box that was the same size as the exhaust fan. And then I used that as a template to cut around the drop ceiling panel that we're gonna be installing around the exhaust fan. And after I finally figured out the correct orientation to actually install this drop ceiling panel, we got it positioned and put into place around the exhaust fan. And the last step in this project is we need to install the grill. And to do that, you're gonna pinch these two tabs together and those are gonna slide up right into the slots on either side of the exhaust fan. And it's gonna pull it flush with the drop ceiling or the drywall. And that's how you install an exhaust fan. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more DIY content like this. In the next couple of videos, we're gonna wrap up this basement bathroom. So check out the previous episodes and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks.